Thanks for joining me today at InvestorIdeas.com, Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, looking at today's problems and solutions for the future. I'm your host, Don Van Zandt, founder of InvestorIdeas.com, and hoping to share our way of making a difference in climate change. Good morning and welcome to today's podcast. Today I would like to continue with the theme of recent podcasts looking at the top 100 polluters in different categories with today's focus once again looking at water. I'm featuring 3M trading on the NYSE MMM. The company's Political Economy Research Institute rank in terms of toxic 100 water polluters is 92. So you say that's not as bad as some of the other companies I featured within the top 10, and you're correct, but the reason that this is as toxic as the water that they have polluted is that water technology and water treatment is one of their main areas of business. They say water quality is crucial for many operations within the residential, OEM, refrigerator, industrial, and commercial food services markets. With over 75 years of experience as a leader in providing water filtration products, 3M Purification Inc. delivers technology that improves water quality. They say at 3M, we strive to use technology and expertise to promote a future of water circularity, a future where water stress is eliminated, resources are circulated, and nature is regenerated. We work with water leaders in communities where we operate to help improve water quality, water availability, and with the aspiration toward a net positive water impact. As a signatory of the UN CEO water mandate and a leading member of the Water Resilience Coalition, 3M strategy aligns with the six core focus areas outlined by the mandate and follows the UN Sustainable Development Goal 6, Clean Water and Sanitation. 3M's ESG statements from their website say, more than ever, we need science to create a more positive future where everyone can thrive. The resilience of our planet, our people, and our economy depends upon it. As the expectations of our customers, employees, investors, and stakeholders continue to grow, we set meaningful and measurable goals that demonstrate our ESG and our commitments and our progress. Our employees are driven to pursue these goals and make a difference in the world, and we're proud of the recognition their efforts have earned for 3M. So if all of that is true, can someone please explain to me how they have paid out penalties of over $1,045,066,310 for environmental offenses? And here are just a few examples, and all related to water. So this is a violation tracker individual record account. So from 2018, this is an offense, environmental-related offenses, 3M agreed to pay $850 million in settlement of allegations of its productions of PFCs and that had damaged drinking water and natural resources in the Twin Cities area. From 2021, again, another offense, environmental-related offense, 3M agreed to pay $99 million to settle litigation alleging that one of its manufacturing plants released cancer-like PFAS chemicals into the Tennessee River in Alabama. And now a more recent offense from 2023. This was an environmental violation and offense. 3M and Wolverine Worldwide together agreed to pay $54 million to settle allegations that they were responsible for tainting groundwater in Rockford, Michigan, with PFAS forever toxic chemicals. Court documents did not specify how much each company would pay. Here, we assume they split the total equally between them. So how can we as consumers and investors trust these companies and the bodies that regulate them and the coalitions that they join that recognize and honor them and reward them for what I would say is posturing, propaganda, and self-promotion. Maybe 3M should change its name to 3P, but if posturing, propaganda, and self-promotion weren't the name, I think there are a lot of big corporations bidding for that title. If you are a small company doing big things to benefit our water and our environment, I would love to hear from you and tell your story. That's it for today. Do something great for this beautiful planet each and every day. 
To hear more clean tech podcasts, visit the clean tech and climate change page on Investor Ideas. You can find it on our top template. Also, Investor Ideas has a lineup of other podcasts and themes, including the AII, the Crypto Corner, our cannabis podcast called Cannabis News and Stocks on the Move, rated one of the top investor podcasts in the sector, Play by Play, a podcast looking at sports and esports news, and Exploring Mining. To listen to any of our podcasts, visit our podcast page on Investor Ideas at InvestorIdeas.com forward slash audio. And a reminder, you can hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and most audio platforms available to you. If you like any of our podcasts, we would appreciate you recommending them or reviewing them on your audio platform. And to help you follow and track clean tech and renewable energy stocks, Investor Ideas has created a directory of publicly traded stocks in the sector. You can find that by going to our homepage, looking on the sidebar and looking at renewable energy and environmental themes, and you'll find our stock directories there. Investor Ideas does remind all of investors to read our disclaimers and disclosures on our site. You can find them at InvestorIdeas.com forward slash about disclaimer dot ASP. It is important to read these. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investment involves risk and a possible loss of investment. Thank you again and have a great day.